Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with the third episode of my gameplay review series where I take gameplay submitted by you, the community, and give you tips and tricks on how you can perform better in online matchmaking. This abandoned regicide free-for-all gameplay was submitted by XX Hawkeye XX0324, otherwise known as Mystifying Hawkeye on YouTube. He comments, I hope eventually I will see some big tips on winning 1v1s and free-for-alls. Well, Hawkeye sends this regicide is one of the most um, intense, unfair, and brutal free-for-all game types there is in matchmaking. And since you did go and in, jump into a game in progress uh, against your teammate or your friend, you said Chewy Nut Cluster, um, and you have zero score, starting out with zero score, uh, this film was literally a gold mine of tips and tricks information for more advanced players or more beginner players or players unfamiliar with regicide in general. Thank you for submitting this. These are the types of films I'm looking for. Now, starting off here, you do some pretty good work prioritizing your enemies, shooting the king first, obviously, to get that plus 20 score, and then cleaning up the second guy for the double kill. You just got killed by Chewing Nut Cluster there, the guy who'll be contesting you for the lead. Um, now, you come up here onto the ridge, and then you jump off, and you're trying to go bottom middle for this overshield, and one of the things I want to point out is that you should never prioritize shooting the overshield carrier. You should prioritize shooting the guys that the overshield guy is shooting at, stealing his kills. There are two or three times in this film where you go after the overshield guy blatantly. You do not need to do that. You need to get kills very, very quickly. And if you're not, you know, trying to get kills, you're trying to get to the king to get to kill him. Okay? Do not go after the overshield guy. Now, some of your shots here are just completely wild. And I want to point out, um, right here, uh, as you go in here, I want to point out just absolutely how wild some of your shots here. You're not going to kill Chewy Nut Cluster here. Um, and just some of your shots don't even hit anything whatsoever. I want you to notice how low your clip here is after wasting five to six shots on absolutely nothing. Um, look at how wasted your clip is. You don't end up actually killing anybody here. And Chewy Nut Cluster comes back out of the tunnel to gain the lead again and gain the kingship. Now, going bottom middle here once again, I would probably push top middle, um, either through this ramp into top middle to get the height advantage or through this ramp. You try to want, kind of want to dominate from this position or in purple forest or um, stay over here in this area, which you do end up doing later on the film. Uh, props to you. Um, you throw three very dumb nades here. Um, literally all three of your grenades, because you're loading out with the Grenadier perk, literally all three of your grenades hit nothing there. The main comment I have to say here is that if you're loading out Grenadier and have three grenades, you have little to no reason to fail that hardcore with three grenades in a row. Now, I know you probably were thinking at that point in the clip, okay, I'm just going to throw, throw three nades, see if I get any hit markers, and run after those players. But literally, those three grenades you just threw would have saved your life two to three times over in the situation you're about to encounter. There's no need to pick up the assault rifle here. You could have easily just taken this guy out with your VR, but you, you do end up taking him out nonetheless. Now, I want to notice how you approach the situation. You need to back up, okay, specifically back up and around this little boulder and let your shield recharge. Maybe even hopping up on top of this boulder and crouching here to let your shield recharge. I don't know really what you're expecting to occur here. You end up staying here for way too long. Notice how your shields are keep getting chipped down. The, the grenade chips down your shield even more, and you just keep getting hit by enemy fire here. And you're not ever going to win this battle against this guy. He ends up getting uh, the kingship again. Now... Notice, everyone, notice what happens right here. He does, however, get the assist on the king. Um, king assist. And look at his score in the bottom, bottom right-hand corner. It's now 45. How is that possible? You only get 10 points per kill, right? Well, guess what? Assisting a kill on the king gives you 5 points, which is even more reason to go after the king. Just fire one or two shots into the king, and if someone else kills the king, you automatically get five score. I just wanted to point that out for those of you who are unfamiliar with Regicide. Now, moving on to the commentary here, I'm going to let this part play through, and then rewind and show you what you could have done in this situation. There are multiple little mistakes made here that I really want to strongly point out to you, and 
work through your thought process here. Let's back up and just replay this here. So you come off your respawn here and you begin shooting this yellow guy, okay? That is the guy you need to continue shooting. And I want you to notice that as you back around behind these boxes, thruster packing very well to get out of the range of enemy fire, uh, this yellow guy is going to die really fast because he's being fired at by this guy, okay? That means you can easily steal this yellow kill by shooting at him with your BR. And you can then turn to this red guy and shoot at him. I want you to notice how this player is just using the assault rifle, so he's not as much of a th as a threat normally. He also ends up throwing a really dumb pulse grenade at you. And I also want to notice your shields and your BR clip in this gameplay. Um, notice how you come up here and you're about to get the kill. You have full BR and then you end up switching to the plasma pistol, letting this guy get the kill. I, I just don't, like, that is a mistake. You cannot be doing that in the middle of the game. Keep your BR out, dude. You do not need to pull out your plasma pistol. In fact, there are multiple times when you try to pull out your plasma pistol. Don't ever do that. Pull out, and you could have even killed the king there. I'm dead serious. If you had switched targets fast enough, like you did at the very, very beginning of this film, doing a very good job of it, actually, you'd have been able to even kill the king here. Right here, you have plenty of ammo to clean up this guy. There's no need to reload. Um, with a full BR clip, you can take out three fully shielded opponents with a full BR clip as long as you're 100% accurate and your fourth shot is a headshot. Normally that ends up being around two players you kill. Way meleeing way too early and meleeing way too late uh, there. That's just an uh, epic fail there in terms of the melees. Um, and you actually end up getting a few more of these. Now you get another king assist, pretty good. Would like to see you get a king medal, but you do end up getting a regicide right here as luckily that guy gains the kingship and then you kill him. Um, now, right here, I want you to notice something. Uh, while you do end up getting the whip shot, the second whip shot, and connecting with his body for the kill, I want to point out something right here. Um, and that is, when you're peeking out around the boxes, let me get these sparks out of the way here. When you're peeking around the boxes like this, instead of peeking out and whipping to correct your shot and then firing in the middle of that whip, okay, you want to come behind the boxes, readjust your aim slightly, and then move out and into his head and fire. Just move into his head and fire. There's no need to whip your shots like that, okay? And there are some points in this film where you do do this correctly, but you want to correct your shot while you're behind the box, not correcting while you're out in the open and hoping that while you're sliding your aimer across the screen, you're going to end up pulling the trigger at the perfect time to get the headshot or body shot. Um, and now right there, you do do it. You do end up doing it, and you do end up punishing this player very well, getting some nice shots on this player. Right here, you really needed to back up here using your thruster pack to get behind this tree so your shields can at least partly reload. You end up staying out in the open here, and Chewy Nut Cluster gets a shot on you, not allowing... You see how close your shields were to regenerating here? Um, and then he shoots you a little bit, and they don't fully regenerate, and he easily cleans you up. You even reloaded there, which would have allowed you to probably kill him. I do end up picking the sniper rifle again, getting nothing fancy here, a good good decision getting just the body shot here. Now, I would have liked you to see, stay back here and just watch here. There was no need to really charge in real close range here. Um, you do end up getting a kill, but not with a sniper. Um, you end up just sort of running around and you need to thrust your pack way before your shield hit dead there. Uh, way before. And I would like to slow this part down and point out the complete absolute bullcrap that happens. Sorry for the messy screen here, guys, as you literally no-scope this guy in the face and the game does not give you the kill. Probably because it was just a half second too late and the game was lagging a little bit. Great job punishing the living crud out of this player who's using the suppressor. Um, I like to see that because it really gives people the evidence that you don't want to use that weapon. Great job with this ninja watching your radar and pulling that off. And for those of you players who are unfamiliar with how to perform a ninja, that's probably one of the best examples. I want you to notice how he faked forward around this tree, okay? Keeping cognizant of this guy on the radar, he faked forward around this tree, so this guy can't see where he is. This guy doesn't know if Hawkeye's gonna jump or what. So he comes around the corner completely baffled, not seeing him, and then gets meleeed in the back. 
watch how perfectly this is timed with the radar. This is how you want to do it. Jumping ba straight backwards and looking straight down and jumping a little bit earlier than you might think you should. This guy's going to be probably sprinting around the corner. So he excellently produces the melee and he could have even not gone for the assassination. Getting the excellent pre-made double kill. I'm watching his radar yet again. Um, this grenade also could have done something, but the guy lifts a little before it can. And again, dude, you've got to work on your melees. If I haven't said it already, melees like this are just embarrassing. Like, you have to work on your melees. Um, you needed to stop sprinting uh, right here and wait for this guy to come around the corner. You also needed to be watching your radar, which is kind of astounding because you were really, really hardcore watching your radar. And this is Chewy Nutcluster, dude. He's, he's gunning for that gunning for that game. Um, you miss the kill here, don't get any kills, and end up being killed by Chewy Nutcluster, who has the kingship now. Now, once again, the overshield has spawned, and you end up going and shooting the guy who has an overshield, not throwing your grenades. I'm just not sure what you're trying to accomplish here. Uh, that's a, You really could have gotten a kill here if you would have waited for that guy to engage the overshield guy and then shot the guy who didn't have the overshield. Once again, kind of going after the overshield guy. You do fake out bottom middle, which probably is a good idea for the most part. But again, just some really sloppy plays here. Um, you needed to back up more there. Um, and just let me reorientate what I'm saying here. You needed to back up. Okay, you have three grenades. Back all the way up. Don't back yourself into a corner. Back up here and begin chunking nades at the floor. Okay, so that they bounce into the players, look up, and then just BR the crud out of everybody as you back around this corner, staying alive. Okay, that's what you want to try, try to be doing here. And try a long range nade, you kind of end up pursuing this guy, and I you do end up getting the kill. Again, it's kind of a long shot. Um, there's not much guarantee you would have been able to get this kill. Um, and the guy ended up suiciding on his own grenade, giving you the kill. Excellent pre-nade again. You did just watch your radar there. Very good job cleaning up that player. But you stop to trade your weapon for something else. And you have two guys behind you. And this guy could be lifting up the radar or right here. And once again, Chewy Nut Cluster is just going to clean you up for a very easy kill. You should not have tried to trade your weapons. You should be loading out the bolt shot. You don't need to be loading out the plaza pistol. The bolt shot is far more useful. Um, and especially in Regicide, dude. Um, now right here, um, once again, you pull out your plaza pistol. Look how much ammo you have left in your BR. Okay, I, I think you may be trying to get kills with a plaza pistol or something like that. Maybe you're trying to build the commendation. But in an intense game like this where you join the game and you have zero score starting out and you're competing against your friend for the lead, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Plant plaza pistol failing at a melee at once again, um, mailing way too early. Um, but you do end up, luckily, uh, coming across two players who uh, are engaging each other. One of them happens to be the king. You almost get the overkill here. Nice job uh, with that overall. And you get up going for the sniper here. Now, this is a really great spot to point out with the sniper rifle, punishing that guy for just standing still. I have no idea why the game does not give you this kill. Um, right here on the king, I have no earthly idea why that doesn't occur, but you end up getting pretty good shot here. A uh, good whip shot, even though it is a whip shot, on the jumping player. Kind of half the whip shot on jumping players. Now, um, right here, the king spawns here, and you know that someone is going to spawn here. You're aware of the spawns. That's a good, good job he here by you. But instead of aiming right past the box, right where he's going to pop out, you need to be aiming even further right here, okay? Because you don't know whether this guy's going to be sprinting, jumping, thruster packing, or walking at a normal speed. There are a lot of variables to take into account here. And just seeing him for a half second before pulling the trigger is not going to grant you a headshot. You need to extend your range of vision to over here so you can see how fast he's moving before he comes into your targeting reticle. Instead, you end up aiming way too close to the box and you end up completely missing the shot. If you had been aiming over here, you would have done much better. Now, I do love the way you bait him in for the no-scope here. The no-scope snapshot, just not moving at all with your aimer, just moving into this snapshot. Absolutely beautiful, as you almost get this snapshot double kill. Going back for your sniper rifle, which is a good play here. You're only five kills behind the leader with five minutes remaining. You get this kill, um, get the sniper, and... Um, 
this guy just sort of charges in, and you do end up punishing him. Once again, this player um, melees, uh, fails, and you did try to thrust your pack here, which is a good job right there. You wanted to probably thrust your pack as soon as this guy, uh, as soon as you melee this guy. As soon as you get this melee kill um, on this second guy right here, you really wanted to just thrust your pack to your left. Um, melee and immediately thrust your pack. Um, you did try to thrust back here because of all those sparks. But here is an absolutely pivotal point in this game. I have to pause here to draw your attention to the score in the bottom right-hand corner of the game. You have one kill until you win this game. You have this game. And it's one of the most surprising things to say. But as far as you know, you being excellently aware of your, your timing on your shots at the very beginning of the game and being excellently aware of your... Um, Radar at certain points in the game, I'm not even sure if excellently is a word, but you miss. You have to keep track of these things. Your radar, your grenades, your shot, your shot prioritization, and especially the score. Dude, you end up completely throwing the game here. I mean 100% throwing the game. You would have definitely won. And the reason why I know this is because the guy who is behind you on your radar, who you end up throwing a grenade at, is the guy who was using the suppressor on you, who you got the embarrassing melee kill on. Okay, dude, you had this game, but instead, you were so tunnel visioned on the sniper rifle, and oh my gosh, I'm doing so well with the sniper, that when I respawn, I can see the sniper rifle completely not look at the score, which is, by the way, what you need to be doing when you die. And you turn around and go blindly for the sniper rifle, tossing a grenade behind you. You have two more grenades. You could have easily, would just literally, stood right here and tossed a grenade as soon as you saw this guy getting close to you on your radar. And keep moving. You know, keep, keep baiting him towards you with a moving dot on your radar. Moving round and round, exactly as I'm doing right here. Wait for him to come to you, throw two grenades, and that would give you the final kill to win this game. Chewy Nut Cluster is 15 score behind you, dude. Like, you cannot afford to do what you did here and go and get the sniper rifle. Again, you whip shot on this guy, and it, you don't end up getting this kill. And this guy embarrassingly assassinates you. Chewy Nut Cluster catches up on the score, and you end up losing a game you could have definitely won. Now, I would like to state that you were in second place, contrary to your message to me, which said you were in fourth place. You tied for second place, dude. You were much better during the second half of that game during the first half, okay? You did some excellent strategy with the sniper rifle there. And you did have some lucky multi-kills, but overall you need to work on your grenades. You need to work on your me your melees especially, um, being more consistent with your sniper rifle, trying to go for those headshots a little bit more using the sniper rifle tips I gave you. And oh my gosh, dude, you have to watch the score as it gets earlier on in the game. I know this is sort of ending on a sad note yeah, for you guys. I'm sorry. So if you guys want to submit your own gameplay um, to me, for me to review, just like Hawkeye did here, uh, very good film, great film submitted by Hawkeye. If you want to submit a film like his that was close like this, click on the top right-hand corner right now. It'll take you to a video that will describe how you submit your gameplay to me. Um, this is, a, again, I can't say it enough. This film is the type of film I'm looking for where the gameplay is close, and you did some good in other places, did bad in other places, that's exactly what I'm looking for to help you improve. So guys, thank you for watching this third episode of Gameplay Reviews, and I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys.